Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be putting to the test a $116 foundation. It's WTF. My favorite thing to try for WTF is foundation because it's really interesting to see how foundation wears throughout the day and if it held up because normally foundation will look pretty cute when you first put it on. And then maybe a couple of hours later, it can be a different story. So this is $116 for one ounce. This is the Wrinkle Control Serum Foundation from By Cherry. Now I feel like I can actually smell the by cherry fragrance like through the box. That's the one thing right off the bat that I will tell you from going to the counter and looking at everything. By Terry has such a signature rose scent and it is in everything. It is in like their eyeshadows. I'm not even exaggerating. The finish on this guy right here is matte. It does come in 14 shades. This does provide anti-aging benefits. It has a built-in anti-wrinkle serum. So you do get a little bit of skincare jammed into your foundation and we're just gonna see what happens. I felt this on the back of my hand at the counter and it felt really beautiful and I love the dry down that it was not a crunchy matte, was very comfortable, but there was nothing shiny or dewy about it. So I think typically those type of foundations wear longer and I do have such an important party to go to tonight. So I'm gonna take you with me and we're gonna see this in photos and evening lighting and out and about party times. So I, yeah, this is, I actually, I'm getting nervous all of a sudden. Was this a good idea? I'm rethinking this video all of a sudden because I'm imagining myself putting this on and it like breaking apart and being horrible and being surrounded by other YouTubers and being like, oh, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, sorry, my foundation's horrible. <laughs> First impressions. Um please God, work out for me right now. 116 bucks, this better work out. I also did pick up a primer from By Terry. This is the Hyaluronic Hydra Primer. Now this is going to minimize pores, lines, and it has zone technology where it's going to hydrate the areas that need to be hydrated and mattify the areas that need to be mattified, which I was fascinated at the counter looking at this. This guy right here is 60 bucks. And you all know I'm all about the primer life. For everyone that wanted to know, this mirror, because I have a new mirror, are we all excited? It's from Amazon, but what is, what's the deal with it? It like wants to flip over to be like a little table mirror, but then it's like awkwardly low. Anyway, let's move closer and apply expensive foundation. You guys, I am finding out more information about this primer that is actually making me so excited. This says that it is the first foaming hyaluronic acid primer. I don't know, I don't think it's foaming. Is it foaming? What does that even mean? You're not foaming. All right, I'm gonna start right on the cheeks through here. I really don't know the texture. This is kind of weird, to be honest. Oh, it is kind of puffy. Huh. It almost like has a bit of a powdery feeling to it, kind of like that other powder primer that I tried. It feels very similar to that. I feel like it did some minimizing of pores, but not really anything that much better than my professional. So I'm on the fence with this. I don't know what the business is. All right, what I'm really excited to do is go into this. Do we love the packaging? It is purple, my favorite color and everything about this just feels really luxurious as it should because it is a high ticket item. What shade did I get? I got Desert Beige. It looks dark. I was at the counter and it was the fastest shopping of my life. I was there last night right as they were closing. Now that I'm looking at this, this looks really dark. I'm gonna do Beauty Blender on half my face and then I'm gonna do the Clarisonic on the other. So going in, I mean, it kind of matches my neck. I'm kind of okay with it. We're just gonna make it work. Let's pray that it does not oxidize because if this gets any darker, I'm gonna look ridiculous. It's a little orange. Why is this orange? Gosh. This is why it's so hard to match yourself in a department store because the lighting never really tells you everything. Like you really need to try it out during the day, go out into the parking lot, pull out a mirror and then look because that fluorescent lighting will deceive you. It will play tricks on you. Um, I have to say, this is smoothing on really beautifully. It's actually going on and this is just that one dip. So I haven't had to go back for more. So it's going a long way. I'm happy about that for sure. All right, so this is the side with the Beauty Blender. Now let's take my trusty Clarisonic that I love and I'm going to pick up product off of my glass palette and just go in. 
You know, I gotta say, this is looking really good. And the scent, by the way, update on the scent, it is not as crazy fragranced as some of their other products that I have tried for the face. So I'm really happy about that. I mean, it definitely smells like By Terry, which you guys, if you've ever been around any By Terry products, it has just such a strong rose perfumey scent that is so distinct. And this doesn't, I mean, it has a little hit of it, but not anything that's making me crazy. So that's good. It looks really nice. Now the second test is to see how my concealer and everything else layers on top of this. So I'm gonna finish up my makeup and I will be right back. And the rest of everything is on and you guys, this is an exceptional makeup day. Thank you God, because I am getting ready in a few hours here to go to an event. I'm going to the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette launch tonight. I'm really, really excited. I've actually never met her before. So uh, yeah, I'm thrilled that my makeup turned out as good as it did. So right now everything is a-okay. We're looking cute. And I wanna say something um, because a lot of you guys are like, oh, you always love higher end foundations. I know that that's not true. I think the reason that I'm really loving this so far is because hyaluronic acid is one of my favorite ingredients in skincare in general. And when you put it in a foundation, I think that's fantastic. That ingredient actually attracts water and moisture to your skin without adding any slip. So there's nothing really oily or greasy. You can see I look really, really matte. And now that everything else is on, I think the foundation matches the rest of me pretty well. It's not oxidizing. I took a long time doing everything else on my face. So, you know, it's good so far, but we all know that that can take a wild turn hour by hour. So I'm gonna do a few check-ins with you guys and I'll see you in just a little bit. So we are back from Jacqueline's launch party. It was incredible. We had so much fun. We took lots of pictures. I left with three palettes. So I'm gonna be doing a giveaway and trying it out soon. But I wanna show you guys that my makeup held up. Look at that. It's really not bad for like bouncing around at a party and you know, getting hot and a little sweaty and being out for the evening and wearing it all day. I actually think this is really good. I'm gonna take a survey. Look oh who's God. here with well, me. Well, goddamn. Oh. <laughs> look at me right now. Yeah, look at the color I mean, I look a freaking mess. <laughs> I look a mess. Your hair looks really good, though. It does look really good. Yes. Thank you. you it do. does look and really good. And I loved your cranberry princess eyes. Oh. Yeah. 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 You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, look who else is in the house. For someone that knows a thing or two about makeup, I don't know what your review is. I have no okay. idea what, what Tati has said. I think it looks stunning. Me Thank too. You. Me too. It really does. Mm -hmm. I feel a butt coming. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. What do you got to no, say, I Jeffrey? Think over, have you touched up today? No. For not oh, for not one no. touch up, I think it yeah, looks amazing. I think you look great. Right? It's a little worn barely right here. Right here a little That's bit, it. yep. It's a yep. barely little creasy. Like I agree. Little... Besides that, I'm like, oh god, it looks what beautiful. What's your favorite foundation? <sighs> or one of? Dior Air Flash to the to Till the day you die. To the day I die. This is get unready with me collab. We're doing a get unready with me. Yes. We're having a sleepover. Sister <laughs> sleepover! We raid her beauty room every night. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I put the foundation though? Like I can't even find the foundation I was this reviewing. Part, ah, I found it. Are you guys not ready? No, we're yeah. 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 All right, you guys, it is now the very end of the day and I think the foundation has held up amazingly well. Um, I feel so honored to have like 12 friends in the background right now. Everybody bring it in! Oh! <laughs> yes. oh I so, oh, yeah. so the foundation is, gets a big thumbs up, and it gets um, a big thumbs up from all of us because I think it, it looks, looks so amazing. Good. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm like, okay, oh, I'm, buy, I'm, I'm like buying this. it, and that says a lot. <laughs> See, oh, <laughs> you are okay. Yeah. Oh, you'll like it. I think you will. I'm gonna wear it again <laughs> tomorrow. Another. I will update you guys more as I use it. But I'm ready to hang out with my friends and just continue the night. So, thank you for watching me try out this $116 foundation Ooh, uh, that I actually Lord. really enjoy. So, there you have it. All right. I love you guys. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys. <laughs>